Right, hello everybody. We're here back in the PA box after the 2-1 win after Folkestone, over Folkestone on Easter Monday. Um, beautiful day and the game probably didn't quite match the, the sunshine, but um, a win nevertheless. Ben Cornelius has joined me today because he's been looking after the team in the technical area with Aggie serving his two-match touchline suspension. Uh, so good of Ben to come and speak to us. We'll cover the Haringey game from Good Friday and then talk about the game today. So welcome back, Ben. Again, thank yep. you. Yep. Good experience for you to take the team and be the man in the in the area there with Chris sat in the stands. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a different experience that, to be fair, I haven't felt that before. It's a different type of um, pressure, different mm. type of, of feeling it is. It's a lot more lonely when you're out there on your own yes. rather than being in almost in the background a little bit. It's, it's definitely a different feeling, but something that obviously will put me in good stead going forward. Yeah, fantastic experience. That's yeah. interesting. Um, Chris's ban, yeah. um, something that's the one good thing that's come out of it, isn't it? Well, not, not just myself as well, but the players. Yeah. Um, so obviously where, again, we allude to it again, but where we're quite a young side, um, we probably haven't got 11 to 15 leaders in the squad mm. so I think it's also been a really good opportunity for them to to lead on the pitch as well as myself yes. um, yeah. so so yeah it, it, as much as we'd rather him be out there it's also potentially long term it, it could do us the world of good yes I should say right okay so talking um, should we start with the cheerful side of things and yeah. talk about Friday yeah. um, we went to Haringey we talked when we talked earlier, we, yeah. last time we said a winnable game. Yeah. Um, as it happens, it was a, a very good win. We seem to set up quite attacking minded with both John and Freddie playing yeah. um, to stretch them and got off to a good start. And it seemed like that paid off. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, Friday was definitely a lot more enjoyable than today, that's for sure. Mm. Um, I think some of the team selection was also with a, with a view that you got two games in four days, um, and obviously a lot had already previously played a lot of games. So it was, it was also not giving them a rest because obviously we were there to do a job and win, but making sure that that over the two, over the four days we we were good enough to to be strong for both games. Yeah. So Freddie got a start. Jack Dixon got his first start yeah. since he come back, and Adam was on the bench. So that was part of that resting strategy. Uh, to, to be fair, loves. Loves wasn't really, uh, he was due to start, but there was, he, he turned up late, so there was a lot of traffic on route. Mm. I think a few of the lads got there at half two as well, um, as was just the unfortunate one that got there late. Right. Um, but yeah, Dicko, I think that's the best Dicko's played for us since he's been back. Um, the way he, he also, like, so we spoke about earlier about the players leading it, he, mm. I think he led that brilliantly on, on Friday. Um, he'd done the huddle before the game and the way he led it on the pitch but not just his leadership but his ability as well was, was brilliant um, so yeah it's good, it good to have him out there yeah and of course a start for Finn so good to see yeah. Chapo out there I suppose under Jack's wing to a certain yeah. extent and he created the first goal didn't he so yeah, great he, that he was brilliant um, it's probably been one of my favourite moments this season to be fair seeing Chapo obviously working Leading the under 18s last year was a big player and a part of it, and then now to see him kicking on and seeing how well he's doing within the group, and and see how well we've done on Friday, and then to get a goal as well, um, it's probably the goal I celebrated the most at five, at five nil. It was yeah. his, so so yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, I must admit, I, he's a he's a great lad, and I I, yeah. I didn't go on Friday, and so yeah. I had sort of serious FOMO yeah. when I, when I saw the way he played, and, that, and then I, the celebration as well with the fake hamstring injury. I mean. Yeah. Just about sums him up, doesn't it? That sort of thing. Uh, he's brilliant. Honestly, <laughs> he's since he's come back from on loan, he's almost regalvanised the group a little bit. Not regalvanised, mm. but he sort of lifted it like with his character and his personality. He's um, he's sort of given it another gear, uh, and to be doing that at 18, 19 years old, that's a massive credit to him and, and something he needs to take throughout his career. Cause yeah, because <laughs> with that personality, he also plays with it. Mm. Um, yeah, and I think if he does that and continues to do that, he's only going to do do good things in football. I think. Yeah, and so we we sort of had a, a load of Sams on yeah, the on the yeah. team sheet. So if yeah. your name's not Sam, you're not getting in yeah. on, on Friday, wasn't it? Sam Adams back for his first yes. 
um, yes. time with the squad. A first goal for Sam Gale. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was all, yeah, sort of um, hot Sam action, wasn't it? So yeah. how was it having Sam Adams around ah, again? Brilliant. Uh, he, he's been in training the last couple of weeks. Obviously, he's kept it quite quiet. Um, but just, just his personality around the group, his, his communication around the group, um, his positivity around the group has mm. been really infectious. And it... Now, he, he probably won't feel like it, but he's probably played a massive part in the last two games. Um, even though he wasn't here today, the way he set standards at training a couple of weeks ago. Yes. And just, I feel like he's helped a couple of the local young lads as well. Um, so to see him come in and train and still be and still be Sammy Adams, I mm. think it, it's a really good um, thing for the young lads to see. Yeah, um, great mentor, isn't oh, he? he? He's brilliant. He's taught, well, even when he was on the bench, like, on, on Friday, his chat w was brilliant, even for myself as well, to be fair. He helped me a lot on on, on Friday, so, mm. so yeah, it's brilliant to have him back. Yeah, so, I mean, it was a ton of positive. Geordie's goal, Sam's goal, yeah. Finn's goal, um, another one for Freddie. Yeah. Um, you know, it's all, 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 all good, wasn't it? And a good all-round team performance. But even though Haringey, I was told that Haringey were poor, but it, they're only as poor as we made them, I guess. Yeah, I, I think... Uh, I think it's more how good we were personally. Yes. Um, I think that's up there with some of the best football. We've watched it back and clipped it up and it's probably the most clips we've got out of a game in terms of how we want to play. Um, and obviously where it being on a 3G as well, it helped massively. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'd go more saying that we were good um, because even in the first 10, 15 minutes, they had a couple of half chances. So there's always in the game, I think once the second and third went in, I think that's when we then really took, took it to another gear. Yeah, and the other goal scorer that day was David and yeah. took him to 29 and that takes us to where we start off today, that 30th yeah. goal. Um, the team, slight changes along the lines of what you were talking about, yeah. um, but the shape is similar because Sam McCoy pushes yeah. up and fills that, yeah. that space, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, it was a good start and a nice finish from David and it all looked very positive at that stage, didn't it? His 30th yeah, goal, yeah. big crowd, and we all thought, here we go. Yeah, it's a great start. Um, yeah, it was a really good start. I think come straight from kickoff. Was it from mm, Friday morning? Much, yeah. yeah, great. Oh, yeah, good finish. Him and Jace at the back post. I think he just got the better of Jace. And, and the finish, especially where he's leaning back, brilliant finish. And to get to 30 goals, bearing in mind when we come in, I don't think he was on that many um, and playing as a left winger. So for, for him to be on 30 now, yes. and probably joint top goal would be right up. I think he'd be right up there in the terms mm. of the league. Um, yeah, brilliant for him. Yeah, and. The only shame, really, is that after that goal, um, I, I would describe it as we seem to go a bit passive. It's a, yeah. That's the best way I would describe it. How, as a coach out there watching and leading them, how would you describe what happened between the long period between the first goal and the second goal? Um, I, I, to be fair, I thought the first 10, 15 minutes, I thought we played some really good football. I thought we got into some good areas, but we just didn't. Just probably the Kian final little bit. had a very bit. good chance. Didn't yeah, he had a great. Yeah. I think David had another one, but I think that was a bit too stretched for him. Um, I think Jordy had a couple. Kian had got slid, slid in. So I think the first 10, 15 to 20 minutes was really good. Um, but I think the pitch, the pitch is so lively, especially when it's been dry. Mm. Um, it really, you, the bubble really plays a part. Um, and so rather than like on Friday where we can play off one and two touch comfortably with knowing the bounce. I think it almost takes two or three touches to get it under control here. Um, I see. I think you see with Dav today, the amount of times it went into him and it yeah. hit his shin, mm. it would come off him. And I, I don't think that's anything with Dav because he's such a good player. I think that's more, more the pitch than anything. Um, whereas Friday, his link-up play was was top. Um, so I think it's more. I think today, the reason it has slowed down a lot is because you have to take, you have to take more touches just to deal with the pitch more than mm. anything. I think. Yeah, but nevertheless, um, it stayed 1-0. Yeah. Ball over the top. John's yeah. always going to be in with a chance in a foot yeah. race, isn't he? Maybe yeah. the keeper should have come out quicker, but he was really onto that quick. Yeah. And a, a lovely finish. It reminded me of um, Kenny Pogue a couple oh, of years Kenny, ago. VCD. Yeah. yeah he's lifted yeah. it. Yeah, VC, I think the last game of the season. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Similar vibe to it. Lovely yeah. lob over the keeper. And to see that ball drop and bounce yeah. in. <laughs> it's a different type of feeling. It's more relief now rather than um, <laughs> an excitement um, yeah. when, when you're leading it, definitely. Yeah, but it was um, yeah, it was a, it was a good goal and a, and a classic John goal, I would say. Yeah, to be fair, that that's got a lot to do with Aggie that one because two minutes before, obviously, he he got down to the, uh, 
he got the message down to the touchline that um, that, that that ball was on and that mm. that run was on um, because where where their centre half was following David into almost into a midfield position, the gap was huge. Um, and John, like you said, John in any race is probably likely to win. So, yeah. so to be fair, that that was as good as it was from John. That's also down to Ags as well. Yeah, but because the, the ball went more directly, didn't yeah, it? Rather yeah. than going out to the wing, yeah, it was slightly, it was more, behind, slightly more into the yeah. goal scoring pass rather than a, mm. a pass. For yeah, yeah. So that you've answered a question that I was going to ask you then. So yeah. Aggie is in contact with you, and, yeah. and that's all, I, the ban allows him to do that. Sli- yeah, yeah, it does. I think. Yeah, but he, to be fair, he's um. He sort of left us, left us to our own devices a little bit. He's put the trust in us, um, which again I, we're thankful for because mm. because it would be really easy for him to obviously try and manage it as much as you can from up here. But, but to be fair, he's he's put the trust in us, which which is also good good from our point of view. Yeah, and the, the, so I mean, even though the the first half wasn't great, two good goals. Yeah. The only disappointment, real disappointment, was was David it's Smith him. being left on his yeah. own at the far post, and we, well, we know he finishes, don't yeah. we, from where he was yeah. here. Yeah. To be fair, before he even shot, I, I think I'd turn around before he shot because I knew it was going in. <laughs> um, yeah. When he does get a chance, he's, he's quite lethal. To be fair to him. Um, but yeah, it's just such Sucked frustrating. towards the ball a bit. Yeah, fr- just frustrating. I think it's a bit. Maybe a bit of naivety, like being again come to the young side. You've only got two minutes left. Mm. Um, probably, probably think more defensively than you do aggressively. Um, I think we probably missed that a little bit in in that situation. But fortunately, we got we got away of it. Yeah, and the second half, there were some chances on either side. Yeah. but it was a it was a difficult second half, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Adam and Jack sitting reasonably deep. I felt. Yeah, and. Sometimes it felt to me like there was a gap between that area and the front two, yeah. and and it allowed them to get a little bit of a foothold in the game. Yeah. Luckily, they never created any really clean chances till the guy sliced yes, the point yeah. blank one over the bar. Yeah, that, that's why I wasn't. I was frustrated. We didn't have a control of the game, but I wasn't overly worried because they didn't create many chances. Um, obviously, other than that one big one, but that come from a drop ball. Mm. Again, we we probably should have set up with having one extra out there rather than leaving. Obviously, John, John's an attacker. You don't leave him one v one in a defensive situation. So maybe again there we we could have set us up a little bit better. But I think in the main and open play, I don't think they really created many chances. No. Like, I think Charlie's had to do more with crosses today than he has in shot. Like, he had yes. to make a stable of shot. Um, <coughs> so I, I wasn't overly worried, but it's just. I just want a little bit more control and I think yeah. that come down to I think probably a little bit of tiredness come into it today um, from Friday like David David's come off he, he he's tired um, again playing on 3G on Friday doesn't help him but mm. but yeah um, yeah I was just glad the second half we, we, we saw it out because I think that that sort of game two three months ago I think we come in here with a point mm. and we get frustrated um, so I think it's a sign of a good side when you when you're that average, yes, um, you still come away with three points because you know next Saturday we could be ten times better. Mm. Um, so yeah, it was good. Yeah, and yeah, so six point weekend was what we hoped for, yeah. and we can all go home with the six points in our pockets. Yeah, the table's looking a bit healthier. Mm. Um, I think there's a, there's a pack of teams now that are starting to pull away. Um, so I think it's just good that we're part of that seven eight teams that are challenging. Yeah. Um, rather than the ones that start to slip away, and then you're playing for nothing last six games. So, so I think that it is a, it's a good part, good time of the season for us now to to really get that winning momentum going and keep going, win, 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 um, yeah. and then come come April the 27th, we we'll see where we are. Yeah, and Bogner on Saturday. Yeah. So another, I mean, another decent team um, should be. I think I think quite a few people are going over for that one. Yeah. I hear. So that I should be quite a, about it today. Quite a good afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Out. yeah. Yeah, looking forward to it. They're always a really difficult team to play against, and, and they're quite good at home as well. Their mm. home record's good, so so we're knowing for a tough one. I know, I know they lost. They lose five, lost five four today. Five, five four at Horsham. Yes. Yeah, I know they've lost five four, but still to score four goals against Horsham is a is a good thing. So it, we're still know we're in for a tough game, but I'm, I'm pretty confident after the two wins we've had, and the squad's looking stronger and stronger. I think. We'll definitely be going down there to win. Yeah, so training wise, after a tough weekend like this, do they come back in Wednesday or Thursday? Uh so so we're being on Wednesday optional. Um so a lot of the young local it's not optional for them really. 
it says optional, but it's not. Yes. They, they know it's not. Um, and then if any of the, the, the travelling lads want to come down, they're more than welcome to. And then as a group, we'll be in on Thursday um, preparing for Bognor. And that's more looking towards... Yeah, that'd be more of a, a tactical yeah. slash... Yeah, tactical set pieces sort of one on a, on a Thursday. Yeah, and the only other thing, to, there's something to finish up on, a couple of additions to the squad yep. in the past week or so. So yeah. what's the thinking behind, obviously we're looking to a B-team league yep. next year. What's the thing, is it Nikolai and Elliot? Yeah. Um, two new players? Yeah, so obviously uh, Nikolai comes in the centre half. Um, just uh, strengthens us up. Also thinking ahead to the Sussex Senior Cup final. Mm. Um, obviously, we lose, we lose Crutz, we lose Ollie Black. So yes. it's just there. Yeah. Not saying that's always here for because he, he's also been brilliant. Like his leadership, is, he's got a really good leadership. He's really good at leading. Um, so like on the touchline, he's been brilliant. Bearing in mind mm. he's he hasn't even trained with us yet. He's chat on the touchline pre-match, uh, in the warm-up. He he's been top. Um, and obviously Elliot comes. He's worked previously with Aggie. Yes. Um, at Brighton, uh, he trained with us all last week, but he hasn't played recently. Um, probably as much game time as he wants so he's probably one that we're looking to have a good pre-season with um, get us over the line this year again Sassina Cup he's not cup tied um, and then next year is when he'll probably be looking to hit the ground running and compete for places probably yeah so the, the squad is building and looking like, look, like a good a good, a good squad with yes. a view to that running two teams next yes season. definitely um, and you think about the players that aren't aren't involved at the moment like mm. Tommy Fagg who's massive for us yeah. um, he's obviously comes back soon I can't remember if it's next week or week after and obviously got Tom Chalmers mm. injured um, so yeah the, the squad's in a really good place really really good place yeah fantastic so as we said six point weekend thankfully um, good experience for you yeah um, plenty you got seven goals yeah, uh, plenty, yeah. Of, plenty of significant yeah. goals as yeah, well, yeah, actually, which, which adds a bit of fun to it, doesn't it? So, yeah. you know, good for you. I hope you. I'm glad you enjoyed that, and um, oh, great. I enjoyed to Friday. Hello, okay. much. Yeah, you, you, you enjoyed enjoy finishing. Friday. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's good. To, great to see you down there, and yeah. Um, you know, yeah, all credit to you for you know taking it on and yeah. um, bringing home six points. I know yeah. Aggie is a bit of a suspicious. Um, Kind of guy, isn't no, he? No, he's yeah, he's back down. I know what you're going to say. He's so back, is he going to stay down. in? No, 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 he's back down there. <laughs> he's definitely back down there. <laughs> yeah, that was I think he wants to be back down. There. He, yeah, he can't really kick the wall up here. No, I know. So the superstition yeah. has to go to one side just yeah, for yeah, yeah. just for that. We've won more than enough games with him on a touchline. Not yeah, about that, I know. So. I know. They just made me laugh when yeah. I was thinking about his superstitions yeah, no and way. that kind of thing. Don't think my voice could take it to, uh, too long either. Yeah, brilliant. Oh well, well done, Ben. Brilliant. Thank you for coming up. Pleasure. And we'll see you at Bogner. Yes, yes, we'll do. Brilliant. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you.